Okay, got called out on an oldie bit of goodie, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time there for the background noise, but when you're down here on this road and all that construction's going on, you're going to see a lot of trucks. So my apologies in advance, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you guys this one. So, and of course I left the key over here on the floor, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> so here's the complaint with this car. I'm going to put the key on on. If I crank it, it's a no start. Whoop or a sometimes start. All right, what I want you to pay attention to, and that's not your, uh, that's not the camera playing tricks on us here, is pay attention to the brightness of that check engine light. Can you guys see how dim that is? Man, that doesn't really come up too well here. Let me do it again, I'll turn the key off. There you go. All right, so when that's happening, sometimes when you come out here, and right now it is happening, cooling fans on. That should be a big red flag for you. All right. So, if the cooling fan's on, the check engine light is there, although I don't know why it shows up so bright on camera. I can assure you it's certainly not like that in person. And I have to be at just the right angle to show it to you. There you are. <laughs> and you see that dim check engine light. The first thought you should have is, what am I missing? Um, I'm either gonna be missing a power or a ground, something along those lines. Something is pulling that PCM from actually being able to sit there and start this car. So, I pull up wiring diagram. Now, this is where your choice in wiring diagrams can either make things fast or it can drive you crazy. Here's a wiring diagram for this car. I'm just gonna go shoot right down to where I wanna be, which in this case here is looking for a ground. Now grounds, when they're labeled on here, I'll show you a good example. Let's see here. I'll pull up, because it's Toyota, and just how you get a little bit familiarized. You'll have plus B, that's gonna be a positive. You'll have battery, that's gonna be a positive. We'll go on to the next one. And I'll zoom that in a little bit. And IGT, those are ignition triggers, confirmation line, oxygen sensor, lots and lots of abbreviations in their world. And then we have TC, and here, right here, E2. See this E2? That means there's going to be some type of an earth or a ground. Okay, so in this case here, that looks like it's going to be a sensor ground. What I'm looking for is something that's labeled as an E1. And here's an E1 here coming off the data link connector. No big deal. Scoot over. And I can tell you from working on Toyotas for such a long time, here's an E1 right here, that one of the things you want to look for is white and black wires. These are brown. They're shielded. I see that. I see this brown continues on this way. Now, clearly that's one possibility for a ground there, right? So E1 pin 17. And that says it comes from the EC ground. Let's see where that brown goes. And in here, we have E01, E02, E03, E04. And here's our brown wire coming in. So they all come over here and they share into a ground EB. Well, there's one here that says something different. And that's for EC. So that's the EC ground. And that's white and black. It's on pin one. I like pin ones. You know why I like pin ones? Because they're always in the corners. So, if I go down there and I do my test at an E, let's see, E04 pin one, on this white and black wire, I should have a ground. If I choose to do any one of these, the 30 and 31 look like they'll be near each other. They should be a ground. So, I'll start with my grounds. And we'll see if we have an answer from there. But I'm going to look real quick here. I've already pulled this up and I want to show you guys why I mentioned the color diagrams earlier. If you are on a color diagram and you are the M word company user and you think that grounds are going to be easy for you to find, you may be mistaken. Here's that. E01 pin 21 
EO3, EO2. It is right side of surge tank G119. Great, where is that? Let's come back out for a second and type in G119. Should be able to find our grounds that way, right? No? <laughs> okay. In the nano E diagram, it shows it, but that's right, right where we just came from. We're in the nano E diagram here, and this is showing us G119. So where is G119? Let's type in grounds. And we'll get our ground locations for power and ground distribution. And here's my advice to you. If you're doing that, I guess I'm pull that shine out. Come on now. My Wi-Fi used to be terrific out here. And then they started that construction up there. Where they built a bridge, through a bridge. And it certainly slowed things down. So here's my, starting to load now. Here is my list of grounds. Well, we, earlier on we saw EC, we saw EB, we saw those. It says right side of the surge tank. That sounds great. But what I don't see is anything at all that says G119. That's because Toyota doesn't use that terminology. And they never have. They've always done it as EC, EB, all those things. Anything over the E is an earth. So in our case here, it says right side of surge tank. Just going to click in on it and let it come up so we can see there's definitely no indication at all of so here's my eb and my ec it looks like they're coming to right next to one another but um anyhow they're they're not showing anything at all like a g119 so don't get caught up on these diagrams um you know look for the oe diagrams that's why i like all data i love having this ability to sit here and look and say okay there's also a junction connected here so two pins at the computer get shared off of the same wire and I can identify that ground number very very quickly so I'm gonna look for an EO41 so again that's gonna be a pin 1 in connected D not that I care what connected D is but in this case I'm already back probed there's a pin 1 if I've ever seen one. I don't care if it's D or not. I didn't see a white and black quickly here. And this is right where I stopped, by the way. Um, I don't see a white and black in the corner of any of these other connectors that are over here. So that one is the one I'm going to test. And if I come on here, we're actually going to put this snap on the use today. It says ground. Great, right? No, because it's not loaded. So we need to turn the key on. Let's get that key. Turn it on. Let's test that ground again. Uh-oh. 5.3 volts. Sitting there on that ground. So what happens then if I ground this wire? Is there a change in that check engine light? And I'll press the ground now. There it is. You guys see that? How far do I need to go here? So again, this thing was a hard start, almost no start. I'm gonna hold that ground on there. And I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'm gonna try. No, probably not. So here's what we need to do. I need to set this thing up to latch. Come on now, focus. Hey, look. Focus. There we go. Come on! Really? You're gonna fight me the whole way? Let's get this ugly thing out of here. So we can actually see a screen. Get that plastic off, which by the way is on there really well. And let's go into our menu. And we're gonna go to see, where's our latching? Settings for switch, momentary latch. Uh, it says momentary, we want latch. And if we hit M, so that should be, let's see if I'm right. Nope, didn't take it, did it? Let's do it again. Okay. So 
so that's going to be for pulse. And for how many seconds? That's what I didn't do here, right? No, it's on. M. Or do I have to hold it? I forgot. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so we're going to go to not pulse. We're going to change this back to latch. And that should be set up. So if when I hit M, that's what it should be. And then I'll set what I want it to be. So that's going to be volts DC, hit M again. And then when I hit ground, it should latch it for a bit. Yep, there we go. All right, good. So that's going to leave a latched ground on there. Let me put that in. Make sure I got bright. I do. Let's see if I can rest that in there. Hmm. I got to tell you guys, doing this stuff one-handed. That's a little bit better. So now we have the annoying beep. We have two phone calls coming in. That should be grounded. Focus. There we go. And we're running. Now then. No cooling fan, engine running. So where's that ground? We saw a picture of it. Can we find it? Let's turn that off. Hit the C button, I think? No. How do we turn it off? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we just hold it down on whichever one, whichever direction we had it on. So if you have one of these snap-on things, you guys probably know it better than me because I'm not a huge fan, but it does have some value, as you can see. So, that was grounds. Let's grab this and what the heck, we'll even use this to test for a ground. And let's not close the cable on the door or the door on the cable. So, all right, uh, it is not gonna be this one. Cause that is just a thick black cable that's gonna go over here to a body ground. And let's see what's down here. Yep, there's grounds right there. So, cable straight ahead right here. I don't think it's gonna focus in on, but if you watch where my finger is right there, and then you'll see when it fades it back. Right straight ahead there, that is ground cable. So we have ground out here on the engine. Let's take a spot. Yes we do. And make sure my key is on, which I think it's off. Key on. Cooling fans on instantly. So, our engine is grounded. Geez, that's such a terrible... Really gotta scratch a hole in there. There we go. So, it's zero. Well, it doesn't tell you zero, it just tells you ground, right? I wish it did tell you zero. That would be smart. But, let's see if I can't get this in there on those grounds back here. Might not be so easy. I think I had it. <laughs> okay. Sorry guys. It's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. Let's see if we can't get it on there. You're hearing that ground signal that's actually from my finger, which is pitiful in my opinion, but... Okay. Let's try lefty. There we are. Oh, I just had it. 
there it is that same 5.24 so there's no way I'm going to be able to reach through. they put that ground switch all the way down there on the carrot so I'm not going to be able to reach that hold the camera and ground it there but we know that that's where my ground issue is I'm going to have them go in there repair the grounds and be done with this car and wish you goodbye all right so glad i could bring you along with that so again if you're turning on the car and you got any kind of an engine problem and you see that light is dim and then again look at it from different angles because uh you're looking at it through the viewfinder it's kind of hard to tell <laughs> but anyhow if you see that make sure you spend a little you know a few minutes and uh and then go over quickly over your powers and grounds first all right have a good one